Hello everybody and welcome back to another Slayers by Daddy Challenge. This is August 6, 2018 and we are here to get another win, baby. We are currently sitting on three wins and two losses. Not bad, not bad. Yesterday's data was pretty good. Let's check it out. August 5th. Uh, view my score. We ended up coming 44th in total. 44th out of everyone in the world. I'm pretty impressed. I'm very, very happy about that. Um, we were 33rd, so we dropped 11 spaces. That's not bad considering... Um, was a defect run and now we're doing another defect run so i get to the point when i say mega crit can you just please balance out your hero pool because it's just defect 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 i'm over the defect okay it's too much defect we cannot handle this much defect let's see if we can see in our boys on the uh, leaderboard by any chance um i feel like crimson moon i know but i'm not entirely sure about that one i could be wrong uh viking tron that name shows up a lot like I said a lot, I'm not sure if it's anyone I know or not, but I definitely say that's my favorite name ever. It looks like a face that's ready to fight, and I love it, and it makes me extremely happy. So I like that one a lot, but uh, yeah. We of course want to look at trying to get a top 100 score here, because that's all that I really care about. Um, my real goal in life is obviously to start Isaac Baby! Oh no! Oh no! On a lethality daily? NR1 on a lethality daily? I need to beat NL. So our goal here is 1,245 points. We're going to be playing our heart out. Playing our heart out. Okay, because we are not losing this daily. Okay, I'm not allowing it to happen. And I am beating NL. Nothing is stopping me from beating NL. So let's jump into it. We are playing with the defect with the Brewmaster, Lethality, and Horder bonus. Horder amazing, Brewmaster is pretty amazing, and Lethality is crap. Problem with Brewmaster and Horder is that we're going to have 15 Alchemizers, which we've had many, many times before. But it's kind of a problematic potion uh with the defect so it's a big problem so elite 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 three elites so we want to do the three elite path it's only one path that has three elites and that's this path so we have to go through here but we can choose this section let's go on. so 15 alchemizers is really bad of course you do not want 15 alchemizers it's really really bad but uh we can at least mitigate a little bit of damage on the first turn and our lightning orb is going to do some damage for us so not too horrible this is really bad dude we're just going to tank a trillion damage. So let's start regening up then. I'm actually going to use the potion. I'm going to use this block. There we go. I feel like if you have this many potions, you should play around the potions more than I'm playing around anything else. So that zap is a critical one. Let's take this guy out and then we can alchemize. And this is where we start building up. This is where we start regening some HP, getting some potions, and ending this. Ending this fight once and for all. Took five. That's actually completely acceptable. I will get rid of the dex potion for the block potion here. Ooh, obviously you got defrag. We're gonna want some form of lightning strat because of lethality. We don't want to try a damage. Although lethality does mean stuff like um What is the word? Stuff like um, let's use this. Uh, let's use that one. Two plate armors aren't really great for us. Does mean claw decks would have been really, really good actually. So something I could have maybe thought about. That's actually beautiful. I like them a lot. Okay, he will die next turn regardless. We just need to decide if we want to keep these potions or if we want to have different potions. I like this. I like all of these potions. Except for maybe the card potion. I don't really care about that. The vulnerability potion, I don't care about either right now. Energy potion could be worth more. So, I think um, taking the correct potions here is going to be so critical. I'm going to go charge battery, of course. Defense is of the utmost importance for us. So... Bup, bup, bup. Oh, I'm gonna start with drinking energy. Go for one of these. Go for one of these. Choose this skill card. Let's go for reprogram. Use reprogram. Go to the alchemize in the turn. Uh, do a little bit of strike since we can. Some of this. And let's uh, defend. Focus potion. Yes, I will do it. I'm gonna zap. Charge battery. Use the plated armor. Make a potion. End turn. It feels good. We're doing a 12 damage per turn. We've got enough armor not to take damage at the moment. Defrag. Defrag, charge battery, use a potion. It's beautiful. You are pretty much done and dusted. And I'm feeling really good right now. I kind of forgot that we had a whole bunch of charge batteries and defrags added deck. So we actually have to think a little bit more carefully now before we add cards to the deck. Look, don't get me wrong. Three claws. The temptation was there. I'm going to be honest with you. We could remove a singular alchemize here. It's not a bad idea. 
It's actually it's a really good idea. I think I'm gonna remove one alchemist. Just we have too many. Fifteen is too many. It's just too many. It's just what it is. It is too many. So you obviously have to start with this. Got one of these. Use the energy potion because it's kind of like a must. Um, use the weakened potion on you because you have more HP. Gonna use this. Gonna get an energy potion. Don't really care about that too much. Actually, I will use it because I can do this and this. One of these. Oh, Tropic Brew is amazing. Uh, a little bit of poison on the back guy. And uh, I will definitely use this fire version. Okay. We are going to end up taking some damage here. <coughs> and by some damage, I mean a fudge ton of damage. So it's definitely argument made that I misplayed that uh, extremely badly. But uh, at the same time, I was looking to my future, man. I was looking to my future. So you are you both basically dead. So I don't need to worry about anything here. I can just kind of set up the perfect potion. So Tropic Brew is good. I don't think we want poison for the... Uh, elites. I mean, what is it? Lagavulin, maybe? Lagavulin's the only one. I wish I could delay here, because that region potion would have been so good. But unfortunately, it's not. I'm going to use the cool thing. Oh, never mind. He's just there. Man, I would have really liked to have delayed there. I will go another charge battery, actually. I have no problem with that. Okay, I need to go... Well, it doesn't actually matter. I can go either elite. But you know what? Let's go for... Oh, we can rest. We can uh, upgrade and we can rest. I think I'm pretty strong right now, so I'm gonna fight the elite first. It was the Lagabuna, which is exactly what I was extremely worried about, honestly. Okay, so we're gonna vulnerable for the rest of his entire life. Let's do it like this, like this. Now, I'm not gonna wake up now. I'll wake up next turn because we're gonna have a shit ton of energy next turn, which potentially means a shit load of stuff. So let's wake him up now. Boom, he's woken up. Now we use the Entropic Brew. We use the Attack Card because it's amazing. Let's go for the Beam Cell, I think is the right play. Keep that vulnerable going. A little bit of this. We can use Alchemize, it gives us an Ancient Potion. Not really care about that too much. Use a little bit of Strike, use one of these, use a Strength Up. And that felt okay. It wasn't the greatest turn ever, but with the two Block Potions we have, we potentially should be able to never take damage here. So I'm hoping at least that's the case. And I will use... Uh, technically, I will not use anything because I have more than enough Block right now. So that's actually great. We didn't do any damage though, which is slightly problematic. Uh, cool headed... Uh, well, let's Charge Battery, Alchemize. Okay, cool. Cool headed. Strike. Use one of these. We have more than enough block right now. Yeah. Next time we're going to get a free attack in. Because we want to perfect this elite. It's kind of important. Like, straight up, if we have any hope of just beating NL today, we need to play our hard outs. And to play our hard outs is what I'm going to be doing. So, so he's very close to death now. We simply just need to do the damage. Do, 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 do. Cool headed. I'm gonna use one alchemist. That's the energy potion. That's a huge one. Use a little bit of lightning. Let's use another alchemist. We get a weakness potion. Um, let's use the weakness potion. Use another alchemist. It's a dex. Let's use block. We should have more than enough block right now. And he is basically dead next turn. So that is a perfect like a balloon fight. I'm extremely happy about that. Um, I know I just said it's a perfect like a balloon fight. And technically it's not. Because we actually still have to kill the man. But... Uh, we have more than enough block and our lightning will eventually do it. So having those potions is just worth a little bit more right now. Awesome. That was a big fight. Big fight. Power potion is really good. Okay, we need to think about this card pick really carefully. So we're going to be adding three of these cards. We have six charge batteries already. We've got the collector's bonus for charge battery and def and uh, alchemize. We want defrag, saps, and dual costs. Um, chaos. I think I'm gonna go Steam Barrier, but it was a, it was a, that was a tricky, tricky situation. Now we could start smithing things, and I'm kind of tempted to start smithing defragments, but um, the that's a, it's a risky play. As going for the smith play instead of going for the safe play is definitely risky. So let's hope, let's hope it doesn't come bite me in the butt, as they say. I'll definitely take a free uh, buffer. It might potentially save me some HP. Um, okay, well, let's start by vulnerabling you. Using this text potion, using this tropic brute, using this energy potion, use a defrag, use alchemize. Okay. So we lost our <coughs> excuse me buffer right off the bat, which is really bad. We didn't take any damage, which is really good. So, all in all, we're in a good place. I like this, use cool headed, use steam barrier. Use Alchemize. Let's use the potion. 
this charge battery use a dual cast now we lose our only um we lose our only lightning orb which is really bad it's actually made me realize i do need to add some lightning orbs to this deck as soon as possible something we definitely were looking to <clears throat> using a bit too many potions potentially here this will not kill why i'm weakened okay I don't think I care about this too much, so let's drink and use it. Uh, mm, I don't care about that either, but I'll keep it for now. We want some form of lightning creation here. Like zap, but like better than zap. We want lots and lots of zaps, basically. Ancient potion. I'll take it over the fairy bottle, but it's a 50 50. Ooh, three holograms and three cold snaps. Three leaps. They're all so good. They're all very, very, very good for us. I'm going to go for the cold snap because. I actually am going to go hologram. Mm, I'm going to go cold snap. Cold snap gives me ice, which I care about a lot. Dark snap for is actually not completely bad. Ah, oh, this fight is scary. <coughs> I'm going to get rid of this, this, and one alchemist. I don't know what I'm actually looking for here, so it's kind of a tricky situation, but it is what it is. Let's uh, get rid of your negate. Okay, first thing you do is charge battery. Second thing, one of these. Okay. That's horrible. Second thing, charge battery to, to try and maintain the perfect. It's vulnerable. You to get rid of your, uh, your thing. So we got a lot of incoming damage next turn. We need to kill two. We have a lot of energy though, so it's potentially possible. We can start with this. One of these. So one of this. Use alchemize. It's a bomb potion. I think you got a dual cast if you have any hope of getting enough block. Perfect stone attack. <coughs> Excuse me. We only need to do eight damage. It's definitely a plausible. Definitely plausible. I'm gonna start with a block into a defrag into one of these. It means player armor. That should be extremely useful for getting perfect. Right now we get seven ten block every turn. We get ten block every turn. As long as we play a singular block, we will always be in a good position. So right now we we perfected this boss already. We get 12 block per turn, they hit for 11 forever. So we've already perfected the block, uh, the fight. So right now what we want to do is we want to set up our potions for the future. So let's let's start working on that. We now have more, we have 16 block per turn. We will perfect this fight. So all we want to do now is we want to set up the perfect alchemy potions. Whatever is like really good for us, what we kind of care about right now. We don't really care about, like that's, uh, that's actually a pretty good, that's actually pretty good in itself. Because I messed this up the other day. I've also realized I kind of done have damage. It's kind of a problem. There we go. Some zap damage. That's how you kill him. We have infinite block deck, but we don't actually have any damage. <laughs> Maybe something we have to look into. Um, the fact that we don't actually have any damage. Having infinite block is pretty good though. So I don't mind too much about it. But yeah. Probably want to have some more reliant type of damage out here. Vajra is pretty big. Snake is okay. Interesting. That's a 29 damage hyper beam. We lose three focus. We don't want to lose focus. We are just damage. We add three of them, but I think three stacks is better. But mm, we do need damage. We have so much block already that I think damage is a little bit more important here. But we gonna have a, a lot of stacking cards to stack, so I'm gonna go for the stack here because I really, 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 really you don't even understand. Like I can't explain to you in the English language how important it is that I beat NL. It is beyond important. I'm gonna drink one of these. Thunder for free is amazing. I'm gonna I'm gonna split immediately, which is maybe bad, but I don't care too much about that. Except now there's two guys hitting for eleven, so maybe I should have cared a little bit about that. Let's get the attack card going. Oh, now the thunder is just beautiful. Okay, so that's one down. That's huge. Now we can set up some potions. Uh, we can poison you because I don't care about you too much. Energy potion is huge, and gambler boost pretty big, so. I'm actually perfectly fine with this. So we got a lot of ice and we got defrags to make the ices better. So we have a lot of block, which means we potentially have a lot of ways to not die. And that's important. He's dead to poison, but uh, yeah. Power potion over gamblers. I think I will do that. And I will go for another cold snap. We do need damage I mentioned earlier. I'm going to go for a question mark from here, even though maybe I should have gone for the monster. But it didn't end up mattering anyway. I don't think I need the potions here, so I'm going to get rid of them. This is actually a very good turn, you know, I guess. Into one of these. Into a nice strike over here. That's a little bit of everything, and I like that a lot. A little split damage. We got some block going. We're in a good place. 
like, like a little bit of a charge battery here into maybe a energy potion. Let's do the alchemize. A little bit of explosion potion. I feel sexy. Alchemize. A little block potion. I like it even more. In turn, he's on one. He's on six. Pretty much should clear it out next turn. Boom. Jagalaka. Do some of this. Um, These are very defensive potions. None of them are aggressive. I want to gamble a little bit. Three power potions. You know what? Why not? Why not? Let's just see how it goes. I think three power potions, honestly, is a little bit of a gamble that I should not be doing right now. But um, I'm going to do it regardless because I'm semi-crazy. I will find loot. Um, do, I f do I get more loot? I think if I if I leave, I just get nothing. Because I, th I think even if I fight the monster, I'm going to fight the monster even if it's the Lagavulin. I've got skull. Okay. I don't know if we get another relic from this fight. That's why I'm doing this fight. But I don't know how it works. That's kind of the problem. I'm going to definitely use a power potion here. Self-repair for free is huge. You go for a cold snap on this guy. You go for charge battery. Use another power potion. Echo form for free is even bigger. And I think you go for another charge battery. And uh, we end our turn. So we're going to have a lot of block next turn. A lot of energy next turn and echo form. So we should be able to play the perfect turn. Um, we just need to make sure we do it correctly. So I think double cold snap for 20 something damage here is the right play. There's almost no doubt in my mind that was the right play. Cool, we had it for more with block. Gotta get some of that lightning out for some damage. Let's get a strike going now since we have. And we want to use Alchemize. We have more than enough block right now. We do not need to worry about anything. And we're even rejigging up with repair now. So I don't know if this counts in elite fight. If this counts as an elite fight, I'm gonna get double stuff, which is very, very important, obviously. And uh, I know what you're thinking. You could be a little bit more descriptive in the way you said it. Um, defrag into the fen will give me enough block, right? Actually, if I use cold snap, it will cycle this, which will give me six block. Six plus six is 12, so that's better. That's a better play. I want to get some more potions out before the end of this fight so we can delay it as long as possible, please. Uh, potion. Energy potions are pretty good. I will use this energy potion, though. So I can do this. This. Don't care about a block potion too much, but it's fine. Let's go. If only we had diverse, we'd get like barricade. And then we'll be in a great place. Okay, so we first card we play is played twice. So this will kill him. Do we, hmm, we won't set up potions, though. I'm going to charge battery here to double charge battery. I'm going to set up a potion. Played armor is actually pretty good. I like it a lot. And uh, I'll end my turn. So he's going to die very soon. We're wasting a bit of time like this, but I think it's critical for playing. Oh my word, yeah, we need a. We actually really want. We actually really, really want. I don't think Plated Armor is worth it. I don't think Thorns is worth it either, so we want to delay this one more turn. Um, we really want Echo Form in this deck. It will be the game changer. First card plays play twice, Miles play Echo Form. It gave me a block that I didn't really want, but it is what it is. So it doesn't give you a um It doesn't give you a A relic. That's good to know. I kinda want Colson. I don't want this. This is fine. Okay, now we actually want to think about this turn. We don't play powers. We do not have an artifact potion right now. We could try for an artifact potion. Um, let's go creative air. <coughs> yeah, we could do big damage here. We could do big damage here. We're gonna wake on right off the bat. Problem is I haven't set up a lot of defense, so perfect thing. It's gonna be very difficult. I think you have to buy a condition here for that block. I don't know what I'm looking for here, but I'm just using alpha. Okay, so no perfect pass in this fight. Kind of annoying. I I said it's like I I was I gambled and I shouldn't have gambled. I should have just played safe. And that's actually a big problem for me. I keep doing a lot of I gamble way too much and then I lose the gambling. And puts me in a bad place. So let's keep this in mind for the future. 
no reason to play stupid and do dumb stuff. Just play normal. That was a uh, perfect we threw away. I think we want more lightning here. Yeah, I mentioned a few times I need some lightning, so I'm just worried about that. Uh, overclock or hologram. These are both really good, but I think overclock is slightly better for us. So Worried about the amount of potions we have. Zero, only one is really bad, but it is what it is. Hmm. Cold snapping into compile drive is really good. And then we get to defrag right off the bat. Oh, that's the type of turn I'm talking about right there. That is the type of turn I want. I want more of those, please. I need to knock him down. That is of the utmost importance. So we knock him down. Now we can play for the more defensive players. Mm -hmm. So what do we got? Only got eight on our block right now. That's actually not that much. That's actually not that much at all. We do not actually even have a perfect right now. Am I gonna lose my perfect on the first fight game? I'm gonna lose my perfect on the first fight. We just didn't get the block we needed. Oh wait. 4, 8, 12. Okay, we have our perfect. We didn't take damage. We still have our perfect intact. Let's just relax. We somehow saved our perfect. So, drink this. Let's do this. Do that. Do that. Do weakness. That. Okay, we somehow saved our perfect. We got the block before we, they, we took the damage, which was insanely important. We can knock him down. We can knock him down. Remember this. We can easily knock him down. No need to worry. Perfect still intact somehow. I'm gonna go be a little bit of luck involved. Some cool headed. Got a defrag. A very important. Let's make a potion. Let's drink that potion. We can cold snap now because we have the infinite block. Um, we can definitely do one strike for some damage. And we have 15 armor every turn now, regardless. And that's if we play zero blocks. So you got a charge battery, you got a steam barrier, and you got a defrag. So we've got the block system kind of down now. But the problem we have now is we don't really have the damage. So we're sitting on a damage problem right now. Like to do 50 damage is not something that's easy. And that's way too much block to try and get through. We need 39. We need 29. Oh, never mind. Let's use one of this. What am I saying? I'm fucking stupid. A stack just wins the run for us. Who would have thought stack would have come through in the clutch for us there? Really good. I'm gonna alchemize, alchemize. I'm gonna drink this one. He's gonna knock. He will knock him down to defense now, hopefully. I hope so, because we kind of have to. Start with alchemize. A little bit of strength potion feels sexy. A little bit of this. There we go. He's, he's down to defense mode. Play one of these. And just play it slow and steady, boys. Slow and steady. A little bit of cool headed. Got to get that uh, block out. Let's get a potion out here. Let's get one of these. Get some charge battery for the next turn. And perfect still intact. And we can potentially kill him next turn. We just need block first. So you start off with a little bit of charge battery into one of these little explosive potions. Use the alchemize. Use the steam barrier for the block and perfect the boss. Awesome. Oh, okay. We somehow won that. Very important. Very important. Ooh, interesting. Energy-wise, right now, we don't really have the energy to make Meteor Strike work for us. What am I actually after? I'm after, like... I mean, I don't have a... I can amplify Defrag, but that's literally it. And then I have to get them together. So, Amplify feels really bad. Reboot feels good. And so is Meteor Strike feels okay. But I'm going to reboot here. I don't think it's good to take anything else. Choose an add 5 cards to the deck, which we can choose. We choose an add 15 cards to the deck. Or add a card. I'm going to add 15 cards to the deck. And it's fucking crazy, I understand. But I'm going to do it. Like claw, right? It feels so tempting. I'm going to take it. Another claw. Because we've got our claw stack already. Uh, we have enough charge batteries, right? We have more than enough charge batteries. We do not need more charge batteries. Oh, we took claw and we took off the eyes. I'm going to take all the shields here. Uh, I think you take stack here. And uh, I'm going to take, I'm going to take recursion here. So we just added 15 cards deck. We have 78 card deck now, so that's insane. But uh, we can just find ourselves a mind blast somewhere. We will be really good. Uh, here's our first two elites here. There's a second elite. There's a second elite. So it's only two elites no matter what part we take. We've got quite a bit of money to get an early shop will be important. And a late shop. Early and a late shop. Um... 
kind of liking this part. But this part goes through two shops at once. I don't want to go through two shops at once. Here's a shop right off this elite, but we don't get to this elite, so we can't take that one. So, if we want to get to a shop, we have to go this path for these two elites. We have to go that path for two elites. I'm going to go through two shops, but that's okay. We could potentially just keep that in mind that we have two shops. We don't need to worry about too much. This is an interesting first turn. Um, strength me, baby. Oh, this is great. Okay, so he's almost dead. It's kind of important. Sold all the shields into this. Into Alchemize. I mean, it really doesn't matter what we take, so let's just take the stack. That was a little bit of a bad roll for us, I feel. <clears throat> That's a lot of incoming damage for us, but um, we can make it work, it's fine. Can't vulnerable him, so even if we tried, it wouldn't work. Okay, so all we need to do now is just cycle through one more set. So I'm going to reboot here. There we go. Okay, oh, there we go. Echo Form, I'm not even going to have to, I don't even have to think about it. I literally don't even have to think about it. Echo Form is the right player, there's no doubt in my mind at all. Now, this is kind of a problematic turn for us, and it's a turn I've mentioned many, many times. Two Echo Forms is kind of a problem. Uh, we got to go for this attack card. Like we need to think about this really carefully. Really, really carefully. First thing you do is we're going to go for the eyes of the sky. It's one attack. Two attacks. Three attacks. So can we somehow knock one down? We knock one down and we are only taking six damage. These birds are the most difficult fight on the first floor. No one on the human earth can argue with me about this fact. It's going to be 15 block. That's a big, it's a big amount of block. I think you do cost and prey. Okay, didn't work out. And you stack for as much potential block as you can get. We're going to take a lot of damage here. We need this guy to die next turn, it's important. He's pretty much dead, guaranteed. Let's take him out. Blockwise, charge battery, charge battery, alchemize. And now we don't, now we want to delay this fight a little bit and start regening up this HP we've lost. This fight is so stupid, by the way. I really think this fight is, oh man, this fight is insanely dumb. We can kill him at any point, pretty much. So I'm not too worried about that. Right now, I'm more worried about just trying to get some Potions up. We got a very unlucky, I think. Alright, so we can kill him at any point. So we got quite a bit of heal out of that, but that was very scary. Very scary. Defects is the only power we have right now, and Echo Form is another power, so we got six powers. So Force Field is potentially a lot of block, considering how many powers. What we need is an energy relic. Bag of Prep is, is too good to pass up. Okay, Cold Snap. I think we want a Cold Snap because we have three. We get more. Oh, we have six Cold Snaps. We do not want to buy another Cold Snap. It's fine. Okay, um, Blizzard, no, ooh, Blizzard is actually good for like the first time in his life. Blizzard might be good. We have enough stacks, I'm pretty sure, right now. Our stacks are kind of like a lot, if I'm correct. Yeah, we have six stacks too. Um, I think this is the one and only one where Blizzard is going to be good for us. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take the bronze scales too, maybe. Heat skin's not good. I think bronze scales is really good for us. It's just like... It's free damage to the enemy. Hologram is tempting, but I think I'm going to pass up on Hologram. I'm going to take bronze scales, and I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, I'm not going to spend any more money, it's fine. I don't need any of these. Heat skins is the only one I might want. I'm going to play a power card, draw card. We don't have a lot of powers. It does synergize with our force field, though. So it makes force field easier to play by having heat skins. Uh, let's just take it. I think it's good. Let's move on. We have a 90 card deck right now. This is kind of maybe a problem, but it is what it is. Let's go to this, this, and this, and this. 
Yeah. We're gonna obviously start with Echo Form. There's no doubt in my mind that's the right play, so. Like, there's no doubt in my mind playing Echo Form is the right play. Yes, of course, we're gonna get Perplex and Gaze. That's gonna make things way too expensive, I understand, but that's why we have the Echo Form. Okay, so the first card we play is play twice. So, playing Cold Snap twice is really, really good. But playing Alchemize for two Alchemizers could be better. I'm gonna play two Alchemizers instead. Get self repair. Self repair is free. Um, we can overclock and gamble. I think it's the right play actually. That actually worked out great, so that's fine. Uh, that's actually great. We're gonna take five damage. He's gonna take three and a little bit, so that's okay. Okay, 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 uh, Blizzard does nothing for us right now because even though I just said Blizzard's good for us, it ended up n the one fight where it wasn't good for us simply because we didn't get any um, ice so far. <laughs> we haven't got any ice so far. Like the one time we wanted ice, we haven't seen the ice. Uh, I'm going to start with a little bit of a defrag, obviously, because it's super good. you got to go stack them into force field. And um, I'm actually going to dual cost here. Get that light, uh, that darkness orb up. All we need to do is evoke it and he's dead. So. It's not too difficult. Stack because it's free. I think you always stack because it's free. Use this next. And I'm going to reboot and hope for one energy costing card. We got a zero energy costing card. It's way better. More than enough block. This is great. This is perfect. We're going to heal up and repair. We're making this work. This deck is working. We just have a trillion cards and something to keep in mind. So, um, beam cells, I think we have zero of, if I'm correct. So, if we added it, we would um, need to get another set up to six. Capacitator. Capacitate is actually really good with the amount of ice we have. The shop is going to be pointless for us, but we'll check it out. Yeah, we can take the hologram, I guess. But yeah, as I said, this shop is going to be basically pointless. We need to smith now, and we need to smith... Echo form slash... There's a lot of things we actually need to smith. I need... Is anything here become free? Like, recursion becomes free. That's a big deal. Um, this gives me more card draw, rainbow... Doesn't exhaust. Compile driver gets more damage. Stack is amazing. I think you just upgrade on defrag, honestly, and move on. Like, I think the defrags are going to be our win condition in this run. So, this is a very scary first turn fight. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm extremely scared about this. Um, but I need to, to do it correctly. So, I'm going to get rid of this, this, uh, this, and this, I think. Okay, so we start off by drinking this potion. I think it's. A no-brainer, and we go for the vulnerable over here, and we can use the stereo pressure. But I don't think it's going to do much for us. How do we want to handle this? Well, first thing we want to do is we want to steam barrier, right? And then we want to use defrag because that's like kind of important. Then we can use cold snap, and stack will give us eight block. But eight block isn't really that much. There's no way to perfect this fight. It's not happening. Let's use alchemize, get a power potion. Power potion gives us something amazing. Um. We got an artifact. It wasn't what I wanted, but it is what it is. And we're going to take a lot of damage here. Like, a lot. We shouldn't die in this fight, but we're on a little bit of a scarier position right now than what I was literally two seconds ago. So, let's do a potion here into heating, into one of these. Into hologram. Go fetch the cold snap and then take him out. Okay, so we killed one. We set up a, a, quite a bit of block. We have repairs in the deck, I think. Do we have repairs in the deck, or do we just keep getting repair off the... Of the power cards we keep making. I think we actually don't have repairs. We just keep getting repairs. Okay. So we can ball light and he's done. Okay. Now we're in recovery mode. So now we just want to delay the game. For as long as possible. Get ourselves to a position where our block is more enough not to take damage. So. And then we want to start getting our alchemizers up here. And we just want to like. Delay this game. Find some potions. Get some. Maybe some regen up. Um. Maybe even uh, if we're very, very lucky, we potentially get like a... There we go, regen potion. That's exactly what I was looking for. Now, we want to get rid of this lightning orb before he kills him. So, we kind of want to work on that. So, let's give it a, sh let's give it a go. Snake oil is definitely not what I want. So, I'm going to discard that and really drink another one. Power potion is pretty good, but I don't... That's okay. I'll drink the artifact potion. I'll use another alchemist. The dex is fine. We... I don't want him to die. Before I get full HP out of this potion, so. Well, this is not important. Well, I guess he's gonna die faster now. I was really hoping to get a couple of more potions that they could actually help me here.
I think he just did to the spikes regardless. But I'm gonna like still try and get a little bit of region out of it. Yeah. So we didn't perfect that guy. It's actually a big problem. I think you gotta, you gotta go rainbow for the collector bonus, but at the same time, I don't know. I'm gonna heal up instead here instead of doing anything else. Turbo! Ah, uh, yes. Cool headed though. How many cool headers do we have? One set of cool head. I think we only have one set of cool head. I wouldn't mind more cool headed, so I'm actually gonna take instead of turbo. Even though the energy of turbo would have been used, because that's our biggest lack right now is the fact that we have no energy. It's definitely the thing we, we need and the thing we're lacking in, so. This is the fight. The fight. The fight I always talk about. The fight of destiny, as I like to say sometimes, which is weird, I guess. Okay, so Echo Form is free, which kind of means I don't need to play Echo Form anymore, which is kind of uh, tempting. I'm not gonna lie to you. Can I, I'm gonna go overclock here. Is there any way for me to get out of this without taking damage? If I play Echo Form, I will take damage. I can weaken him, I won't take damage. I can weaken him, and now I won't take damage, I can play a second Echo Form, then I have Echo Form, Echo Form, but I think double defrag is worth more here, and I'll charge back. Sure, both of our Echo Forms are going to uh, get discarded, which might suck, but I think we have an Echo Form out already. It's more important for me that I... I'm going to out double alchemize here, actually. I think that's the right play. I'm not even kidding. Lock on. You got a claw. I'm gonna hologram the claw. I, I'm not sure that was the right play. I hope it was. But uh, we'll find out very soon. Okay, so he's not attacking. This is actually huge for us. This is actually a big deal. Um, let's go for the alchemist. Get a potion. Get two potions. Let's play heat sinks. Let's use the vulnerable potion on him. And strike him. And he's dead. And uh, Oh, we're about to take damage. Okay, I messed up. We're about to take damage. I messed up. We're not going to perfect this elite. Uh, I fucked up. I fucked up big time. Oh, well. That's that's my bad. I completely forgot to block. So, no perfect for us. A little bit upsetting. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm upset right now, as you can tell, clearly. The fact that I'm not going to get the perfect here, it, it actually hurts me in a way that... It's difficult to explain, really. But I, I've, I'm just really upset. Like, I, I made one tiny miscalculation. I didn't look at one little mistake. And because I just lost my perfect. And because I lost my perfect, I will not probably beat it now. And my life is over and I can miss Sudoku. Okay, anyway. Without being too overdramatic, let's look if we want ball lightning here. Or if we want thunder here. I think we want the ball lightning for the collector's bonus. Look, right now, if I'm not going to beat it I'm going to go for the biggest fucking collector's bonus this game is going to allow me to fucking have, okay? You need to understand right now. What is happening? There's no way we can echo form here. It's just how it is. It's just how it is. I could stack for 8 block, which is really important. Or I can defrag for more damage in the future. I need. I, I, I realize like our biggest flaw right now is we need a lot of... We need more energy. We haven't got one energy creation relic and that is what's effing us right now. It's kind of... It's actually kind of a big deal, really. Um, it might not seem like it is, but it's actually kind of a big deal. I'm very glad I misclicked that and then it stopped. The game stopped me. It was very kind of you, game. You did not have to do it. You could have been a dick about it and you could have made me be a very upset man. We have mummified hand, actually, so we should play a power every time we get the opportunity. I'm an idiot. So this echo form, is, of course, play because it makes something free. We can play cool headed. In our turn. We're about to take a lot of damage on this turn because we failed. Kind of forgot about that. This parasite is actually a big deal. If you guys think of, if you think carefully, the last fight we lost was a parasite fight as well. So it's, it's actually a big deal. Mm -hmm. I was kind of looking for a free card. I get steam barrier. I need to kill someone at some point. Okay, that's great. And now we just need to pretty much out block this motherfucker. We already have the block. Let's get some potions going. We want to regen a lot again. We need... S are we going to regen quite a bit actually because of the stuff we have? So I'm actually not too worried. We need energy right now. Our biggest our biggest concern is that we have no energy creation. 
And because we have no energy creation, what happens is our echo forms keep coming past and we never get to play them. And that's actually a very big deal. And I need to look into that ASAP. Okay, our block right now isn't what I want it to be, so I'm going to use some of these. We're going to take one. Which is very bad. We don't want to take any. Like, every single one we take is one too much. Remember that that play is the wrong play for the future? Ah, that play was even the worst play. Okay, all these potions are just mediocre, so... Okay, that was a bad fight. That was a really bad fight for us. I think we won't go for the eyes here because we only have three, so we'll get the collector's bonus. We'll go for the eyes at least. Do you need to win the run to get collector's bonus, or do you just get collector's bonus even if you lose the run? Because right now I'm worried that we're not going to win this run at all. We're racing up at every fight. Uh... We have three echo forms, right? Like adding three more echo forms is risky. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Because we've got the charge battery collector's bonus ready. Get rid of force field and uh gets get rid of alchemize. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drink this potion and drink this potion. I'm gonna go for the eyes, this guy. And ball lighten that guy. Play one of these. And then play a charge battery. And then ball lighten this guy. Okay, so we don't, we don't need uh, ice out right now, which is really bad, obviously. But we do have other stuff going for us. So we can weaken him. Do a compound driver. We got echo form. We can play echo form. But I think we just actually kill this guy. And then do this, and then do this, and then do that. Let the echo form smile, that's fine. When the echo form smile, it sucks, but it's live. <coughs> right now, I'm on like, I'm on recovery period right now. So, all of these have to go because they do nothing for us. Claws huge. Rainbow will kill, right? Okay, awesome. I wasn't sure about it, that's why I was a little bit hesitant. I think you gotta go defrag. Even though we have three... Yeah, we're getting defrag here. There's no doubt in my mind that's the right choice. I'm gonna question mark. Remove a card from my deck for 75 gold. Well, that's actually tempting. Like... If we... That's actually not bad at all. What what are we seeing when we sit here like, Fuck. That was not good, man. What card do we have six of that we actually only want three of? Or four of for the bonus. Like all of them are really good. <laughs> I guess you get rid of another alchemize, but alchem. I guess you start getting rid of these defense and strikes. I'm gonna get rid of a strike. And uh, I'm actually gonna rest up to full HP. So we're gonna check what card we need here for the collector's bonus claw or um, the other one. Go for the eyes. I think we already have go for the eyes. We have three sets of claws there, three sets of go for the eyes there, three sets of go for the eyes there. So we're going to take the claw, collector's bonus. Of course, this fight is going to be really tough. And I honestly don't see us winning this fight, to be honest with you. But I'm going to give him my absolute best go. I want Echo Form right now. So there we go. Echo Form makes on you free. You can go for the eyes. It doesn't really do anything. Heat skins makes on you free. You to play a free zap. That's not bad. That is not bad. Echo, getting Echo Form out right off the bat there was so important. Okay, so block, we need block. We need block right now. So I'm gonna gamble this, brew this. Because I want block. Okay, we double force field. That's more than enough block. Double force field is more than enough block. But double defrag is super tempting. If I double defrag, this will become one NG, which means I can play it, which can be 12 block. 12 plus, that is a lot, but not enough. We can get cool headed to give us block. <coughs> we need 20 block in total. Cool gives us 2 fast 4 fast 4 plus 12 is 18. That's not enough blocks. We need to go 12 plus 7, which is 19. It's also not enough blocks. So we need to double block here, which means we want to play charge battery twice for 14 and then play force field for the 12. Even though defrag is super good. Cool header, double cool header to give me 2 fast 2 fast uh, will give me 2 block. So four block, eight block. And I can play one more card, charge battery, 15 blocks, not enough block. Defect will play twice, which make force field free. 
Yeah. I'm an actual idiot sometimes. But you guys don't want to do that. Okay, so I think we have the we have the perfect right now. We have the perfect stuff we need right now. Let's go for the guy the least HP obviously. And there's another force field. I'll pay for fun, but we didn't need it. So that's great. So we have two of them on very low HP. Our perfect is still intact right now. Um, we haven't got rid of any of these negative stuff, which is a problem. We have ec double echo form here. Of course, that is the dream. But I think you've got to go double compile driver here for that damage. And you just want to end this guy's life, which is important. We can still play echo form now. Now let's think about this. Is two echo forms going to be good for us? I think it is. So I'm going to play it. I'm going to play cool head up and hope that that was the right call. And I hope that I do not regret this in my future. So we have two echo forms. First two cards every turn is played twice. First two cards every turn is played twice. So I feel like double overclock is really good. Like really good. So I'm going to do that. And I'll tell you why. Because it was free. Because we need a lot of block right now. Double um, cool head is going to give us a lot of block. Which is very important. So we have 18 block right now. We cannot get rid of your shit. It's impossible. It's actually impossible. This does 14 damage to enemies. So that will actually kill you. How much block do I have right now? 18 plus 6 is 24. Thir we have more than that block. We have way more than that block right now. So you play capacitor fucking Tater. Because it's a power. Then you can play ball lightning. This guy's fucking dead. You can play go for the ice to get rid of one of his load on the gate shit. I think I should cool head it here for the block. More block. By getting lightning out means I can start doing some damage. And I really want to start doing some damage. I can claw for free, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna go for the damage here. I'm gonna play a little bit more risky and go for the damage. Remember, we have double echo form. First two cards every turn is played twice. First two cards every turn is played twice. First two first card is played twice. Double alchemize. Awesome. Get a skill card. Uh all of these are bad. But I'll, I'll take. I take food sequence and even now this card part. We're obviously gonna claw this good sir. I think you're rainbow now. We lost a lot of our ice there. Maybe that might come to bite us in the butt, but let's hope it doesn't. So it's 54 incoming damage. We cannot take 54 incoming damage. It's unacceptable. So first thing you do is your overclock. Double overclock. Mm, we don't want to double reboot here. We have to. We have to double reboot. It sucks, but we have no choice. We play the charge battery because we need the block. Stack? Oh my goodness, stack now for the first time ever it does not do anything for us. Oh, that force field was huge. It's not going to be enough. We're not going to perfect this boss. Shouldn't have got rid of the ice. Should have kept the ice. I don't know how I'm supposed to stop a 54 fucking damage attack game. I just don't know how I'm supposed to fucking do that, honestly. There's no way I stop a fucking 54 fucking damage attack. So that's no beyond perfect. That means we are not top 100 in this fucking fight. There's just no way. I'm very upset right now, as you can tell. I'm very upset. I'm very upset. Because of these useless potions that did nothing for us. Oh, my fucking beyond perfect game. I'm very, very upset right now. So it's either, uh, we have the rainbows ready. We don't want the rainbows. What's the other option? Bias condition or reboot? I think we want reboot. I think we only have uh, the one set of reboots. What would have won the fight there? If we could have just got any form of block. You got Kursky here. It's, it's not even an option. It's the easy one. That was one of the easier choices. So I'm a little bit. I'm. I'm. I'm actually like extremely upset. Okay, so I want the latest shop. This is this one. There's an elite. There's an elite. That's two. One. One. Two. So there's only two elites. We want the late shop. So this late shop. So I'm gonna take this route. Man, that that kills me, man. That actually kills me. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like I'm so disappointed right now. I'm actually so disappointed right now. You did me dirty, game. You did me dirty. So we should have we should have just kept all the ice. So we should have played the cool headed there. If we played cool headed, they would have been good. Oh my god. Well, there's not. We cannot. We cannot allow this to happen. So.
Okay, we're about to take a lot of damage. Yeah. That's why I played the region potion. Uh, we should play another one. I do stack, so. No, we should we should just get like a lot of ice and then upgrade all the ice with the multitude of stuff we've got going for us. Having four energy now is a huge deal though. It's a massive deal for us, so it's really good. But that's what we should do. We should just get as much ice as that's what we should have done to perfect that run. We could have literally perfect that. I just I should have focused on the ice, got the ice, lit the ice, do enough block for me. I could have perfect that fucking fight. But I went for the damage on the lightning instead. That was a misplay. I made a misplay and I lost a uh, beyond perfect foot. There's ball lightning. We already have a set of ball lightnings, I'm pretty sure, yes. Uh, what's the other options? Darkness and stack. I don't think I have darkness at all. I have stack already, right? There's a one stack. There's a second stack. We're going to take darkness because we don't have it. Um, but at the same time, we don't really need it. Man, I'm, I'm so upset we lost that perfect. You guys don't even understand. Like, I'm so... We should have upgraded every single card in our deck. I'm an actual idiot. I definitely should have upgraded every card in our deck. That was definitely the right choice here. I mean, we might as well play Buffy, but it doesn't really matter. Why? I don't actually know why we beat it there. It does nothing for me. Okay, big attack coming in next turn. Wanted to attempt to not lose the perfect. That is a lot of damage, sir. That's 60 fucking damage. Are you actually fucking kidding me? You're doing 60 fucking damage? Like you're doing 60 damage, dude? Excuse me, Slay the Spire. The guy's doing 60 fucking damage to me? That almost kills me. I could... I almost died. To a fucking... First floor boss. Do you understand what you've done here, Slay the Spire? You cannot let people potentially die to first floor bosses on the third floor that do 60 damage in one turn. Like, I don't know where you get your fucking stats from, but I can tell you right now that's a f not a great strategy. That feels a little bit like excessive damage oh, to me, I'm just saying. 60 fucking damage. Are you kidding me right now, game? You did 60 freaking damage to me. 60! On one turn! Hello? Do you understand the problem you have created? There is an actual legit problem here. You keep playing this question card, but I got pressure in my hand, I don't want. I was so tilted that I took 60 fucking damage that I just stopped caring. 60 damage, dude! Yeah, our, we have six cold steps ready. Do we have beams out? I think we took beams out. We, I think we passed our beams up something else. Might as well take it because it's a card we don't have, so it will give us uh, points. But holy shit, 60 fucking damage, game? Okay? Excuse me quickly, just I think I'm misunderstanding how Blizzard works. It's potential. There's a big potential I'm misunderstanding how Blizzard works. I'm not misunderstanding how it works. I understand exactly how it works. Fuck off, little ice boy. Okay, so our energy situation is a lot better now, which is very nice. We have no blocks. I'm not gonna fucking attack. Are you crazy? So what do we want to do now? We want to delay this fight as reasonably long as possible to get as much potion cards out here as possible without taking damage.
Oh, that's a bit, that's right. Aggie getting might have been good. Who knows? Wow, you gave me void straight off the bat, dude. That's that's some cool shit, but okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. You obviously auto shields, you obviously defrag, you play cool headed, you play cool headed, you play one of these, you play one of these. Okay. You're not healing up as much as I wanted because you took 60 damage! 60! I'm still like, my brain is still trying to comprehend the fact that we took 60 fucking damage. I feel like I should kill one of you. Oops. I don't think we're gonna be able to. Del Actually, we technically can delay this forever, so we should do that. And uh, let's try and get some stuff going for ourselves here. We're looking for more alchemizers, basically, is what we're looking for. As I said, we technically can delay this fight forever because we, uh, we can really echo from what doesn't matter. We want alchemize. We want alchemize. There's alchemize. It was alchemize for five seconds ago, whatever. <coughs> I mean, I'm over this. Let's move on. Okay, so I think you got a turbo now. Uh, the wind is suddenly starting to blow. Because we have the other stuff already, right? Yeah, yeah. Take turbo, it's fine. Um, yeah, yeah. That's question mark's fine. No reason to go shop your play. Yeah, I'll spin the wheel, dude. Give me a curse. I love a curse. Except for Wyth. As long as it's not Wyth, I'll be happy. Nice. Anything but Wyth. Anything but right. Anything but right. Anything. But Actually, right is fine because we have a uh, gamble and shit. I would have been happy with right. Lose a card. Fuck off deal cards. We only had one of you anyway. Okay. You want to go this route? Okay. So here's our first lead fight. This fight is really important. It's luckily against the head, which is actually really good for us. So. Okay. So obviously, that's your first play right there. That's your next play. That's your next play. That's your next play. And you're in your turn. Okay. So we got Echo Form out. Remember, Echo Form means every time we first card we play, play twice. Also, keep that in mind that every time we play a power, the power we play twice, which will give us more cards for free. Right now, we want block, so I'm going to double cool headed here. A hologram turbo. Cool headed again. More lightning. Charge battery. Charge battery. And it with a strike. A bit slow, but uh, we're setting up. We're setting up our future, basically. We're setting up our future. First card we play is played twice. There, unfortunately, is no cards we want here, so we're gonna double reboot. Okay. Now we use cool headed. We use Zap, I guess. We can use Rainbow. Use Beam Cell. Use one of these. Played that a little bit wrong, but it's okay. Okay, first card we play is played twice. Double Echo Form. Turbo. Um, Rainbow. You go for the Alchemize. You go for the one of these, you go for the Alchemize, you go for the Ball Lightning, you go for the Ball Lightning. Now remember, you don't have any block left. Keep this in mind. We have three Echo Forms out there. First three cards, every turn is played twice. First two cards you play, every turn is played twice. Double Charge Battery, I think is the start. Then you go for a Double Compile Driver for the card draw. Then you go for a Double Capacitator for the card draw and the free Energy. You use one of these. Use one of these. Use the turbo. Use cool headed. Use cool headed. Use defect plus. Use auto shields if that does nothing. Use that. Use cold snap. And you end it with the blizzard. And you should have more than enough block right now, but I'm gonna use a block pressure just to be safe. Okay. 
Now, this is the type of one I was expecting this whole time. When I looked at this, I was like, you know what we're going to get? We're going to get a situation. We're going to have a lot of orbs. It's going to be enough block, and we're going to perfect everything. And what happened? We didn't perfect shit game. I'm going to rest up instead of um, doing anything else. I think we take the darkness because we have the claws ready, if I'm correct. Claws, where are you? Claws, where are you? There's our first set of claws. There's our uh, second set of claws. There's our first set of darkness. So we want darkness here. Boom. We do want one more um, set of curses, except for white. Except we have gaming chips, so white is fine. Buy all the shields. Yeah, that's fine. I think you go for. Ooh. You go echo form. Make something free. It was cool headed. I was kind of hoping something else would be free, but it's okay. Darkness will. Uh, Defect will make something free. It was darkness. Thank goodness. I was like, please make darkness free. That would be very kind of you. And you did. So I'm very happy about that. We're about to get. But um, by the police. It's okay. We're gonna get that little constraint shit against us. I do not like it, but first copy plays play twice. Keep this in mind. Double cool headed then, obviously. Let's go for the skill cards here we get. Mm, Tuba. I like Tuba. Let's do a compound drive for card draw. Alchemist. Weaken. Alchemist. Nope, not weaken again. Low, uh, let's get some block, I guess. I'll come out. Some steroids. And, uh... You can go hologram. Bring back a turbo. Play the turbo. And then double the lizard. Okay. Wasn't a bad turn. We are going to take a little bit of damage. But it's not really anything to do about that. First copy plays. Play twice. First copy plays. Play twice. Now beam summon. Uh, go for the claw play. Into the, uh... Force field play, I guess, into a ball lightning play. So he's not dead yet. So it's kind of a problem. But to take even more damage. We're taking a little bit too much damage here, honestly, but it is what it is. First copy plays play twice, double echo for me. Double rainbow. That should be the end of this fight. <coughs> Good. Energy potion, I think, is probably worth more than a stereo potion. So let's take it. And uh claw sweeping beam or chaos. Where I think we have no chaos or sweeping beams, so it doesn't really matter. We have the claws already, so if we're gonna go for something, we should go for the one of the other two that we need for the collector's bonus. So let's take the chaos, kind of synergize what we're doing. We're gonna get a curse, it's regret. I do not mind regret at all. Shop, what you got for me? Not great. Okay, so I think we can go for Blizzard, because I think we only have three Blizzards, so we can get the Blizzard for the Collector's Bonus. The Collector's Bonus is what I'm putting my whole run on right now, simply because I fucked up the Beyond Perfect. And that means our chances of getting the Beyond Perfect is so little, that I just, I feel it's not worth it. Storm is tempting, because I've got a lot of um, stuff, but I think I don't want Storm because of the scariness that comes along with the fact that I don't want to, I want the blocks, is what I'm kind of, what it boils down to. I, I figured this out now the hard way. Unfortunately, so. Okay, wind, relax. Relax, wind. Holy shit, dude. See, you're, you're freaking me out, man. You're freaking me out. Let's use the energy potion out of the bat. Use the echo form. Use the echo form. Use the defrag. Use the alchemize. You use a cold snap. Use charge battery and. in ah, reboot. We have one energy. Why not? We fucking boot, baby. Use a turbo. It's even better. Use a overdrive. Use a beam cell. Use another cold snap. Use a rainbow. Use a force field. That's a great first turn. Our potions suck right now. We need better potions. We need to think about who's our boss. It's the awakened one. What potions do we want against the awakened one? Weakened potions are good. Vulnerable potions are good. Um, there are quite a few potions that really do it for us here, but it's it's a bit difficult to know for sure what is the right choice. Um, but we'll we'll try and figure out as time goes on. Maybe we can get a little bit lucky and actually solve the puzzle of what are the right cards to take along. I want to, like, I so desperately want to, um, go close the window because of this massive amount of noise that's happening in the background, but at the same time, I'm like, eh. I think you want to go the power here, but hologram is also very tempting because we do not have the hologram collector's bonus right now, but we also do not have the power collector bonus either. It's a bit tricky. Like, hologram is really good, but the, um, where are they? I didn't even see them. I am scrolling very fast because I'm kind of trying to play a little bit. There's the capacitors. Mm. I'm gonna take the holograms. I think holograms are slightly better. I'm gonna smith a card here, which is like really. Do we even care? Um, if we're gonna smith a card, I mean, what do we even smith? 
another defrags, more defrags, I guess. I think you just keep smithing defrags to the end of days. You put your entire strat on the fact that you're going to upgrade a trillion focus with the defrags and then block for infinity, I guess. Awaken one's going to get a trillion buffs. Let's keep this in mind, please. Really hoping for that. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. That was a uh, good turn. We about to take. We actually gonna take damage. We just lost our perfect against this guy, which is. A little bit annoying because I actually kind of didn't even realize that he was attacking. <laughs> it's most probably my own bad, um, if I had to guess, but why did he attack is what I'm trying to say. I'm going to uh, go get a turbo. Yeah, I'm, I'm underestimating turbo again. I need to make sure I don't do this. It's very important. I just wanted to set up there. That's all I cared about in that turn. But I'm underestimating turbo again. I need to not do that. It's actually important. Hmm, this is really bad. This is really, really bad game. This is actually so fucking bad. It's not even funny. Because we're about to take 8 billion damage, which is really bad. First card players play twice. Double defend, I think. We should have modern that block here. Okay. So right now we're on recovery mode. First copy plays play twice. These turbos are so fucking good. Mm. These voids are being a little bit of a problem, but it's fine. Because I can either hit him 13 times here, or I can attempt to get infinite block. So let's go for infinite block. Or oh, I mean, or we could just hit him 13 fucking times, I guess. I don't want that regret. Like, I'm sorry. Regret is kind of a big problem. Yeah, that's more than enough luck. You know, this is the type of thing I'm talking about. Just have infinite ice things and then just win. We didn't get a... Um, the problem is we didn't get the... I wish I didn't take the hologram last time. The problem is we didn't get the perfect there. That's that's the big deal. I'm not getting that perfect is so bad for us. I'm going to take rebound here. But it really doesn't matter. Because unless we get rebound right now, it's not going to matter. It's not going to make a difference. Once again, same situation. We're going to discard everything and look for echo form. We can get it overclocked with echo form. But then get it again. Let's use turbo. And now we can actually set up some turns here. So we can go for like some cold snap. Compa driver. Actually, I'm, a, I'm being a little bit of an idiot. Um, turbo is actually worth a lot more than I'm giving it credit for. And I need to keep that in mind. Turbo is actually worth a lot more than I'm giving it credit for here. Yeah, let's, let's keep this in mind that the turbo is actually very important here. Oh, that was a bit of a mistake. Let's, uh, let's use the throw plus explosion motion. Yeah, the turbo is actually super important. I must keep that in mind. Like, I can turbo as long as we've got a uh, what's more in our hand, which we usually would. The turbo is worth a lot of points, man. Wind! You're creeping me out, man. Stop it, please. I'm actually getting scared. I'm actually getting scared. We don't have echo for mouse, so. Water shields is really bad. Um, let's get a power. Yeah, defect's good. Uh, that repair was actually worth a lot. The repair was actually worth a lot more than I'm giving it credit for. Okay, I actually have to close this window. Hold on. And I'm back. That was scary. This wind is actually terrifying. I'm actually terrified right now. It's insanely scary. Just kill him. It's fine. Okay. Uh, excuse me? 
Oh, we don't have echo bomb. We don't have echo bomb. Kind of echo bomb is actually such a big deal that I didn't realize it was a big deal until now. So something we need to look into. I mean, both of these cards that I want in my I don't want any of these cards in my deck. And the chance of getting the um, cards now when we rest is very low. I think so. Defrag, you take three more defrags. We don't want this. Uh, we don't want this. We don't want this. We don't want this, this, or this. Okay. We didn't get what we needed. A little bit upsetting. Overclock me. There's Echo Form. I need the block though to not die, so. Auto Shields is 11 block. 16 block. 16, 27. Okay, we have the block we need. Now you echo form. 24. Do you defrag right now? It's gonna give the awake on two buffs, which is a very scary situation. But I think you have to do it. So we've got echo form out, very important, but the awake one's been buffed and we haven't killed anyone. Okay, this is a huge turn. This is huge. This is absolutely huge. I think you'd still double. The fact, even though it buffs this asshole, use the alchemize, use the claw, use the go for that weak. This is horrible. <laughs> We're not getting any of our damage cards. Where's our damage, baby? She's got seven plus strength. That's a huge problem. Okay, this is scary. This is very scary. We're not getting anything we need right now. We're getting absolutely nothing we need. It's kind of a big deal. Oh, that's that's huge. That those three cards could be important. Okay, we need block. We need 30 something block. There's no way we are blocking this. So we are not perfect in this fight either. So what do we want to do now? Now we want to just be on survival mode, right? Turbos maybe? No turbos. Okay, we're about to take a lot of damage here. Potentially even die. We'll be close. Yeah, it's very close. It's actually so close, it's scary. I think your echo form here. Double echo form is the way. Double compile driver. Double weaken. Double rainbow, all the way, as they say. Normal defense. Okay, so we've got three echo forms out now. That means we should win the run from this point on. But it's still scary. Uh, more echo forms, please. Well, I'm gonna double auto shields, obviously. I'm gonna double streamline, and I'm gonna use reboot. Capacity has a power to make me free, except it does buff him, which I didn't think about. I'm a kind of a stupid idiot. Okay. Zap. We are still alive. Technically. We are. We actually came back up with a potion, so that's huge. That's huge in a bad way, I mean. We. Where the fuck is my power? My powers, dude. Like, where's my damage? I'm just saying. Give me my freaking damage, please. I kind of built the entire freaking deck around this, and you are not giving me any of my damage. Okay, we've got a lot of ice now, which is really important. Because I think if we're going to win this run, it all comes down to how much ice we have. Okay, there's the turbo, finally. Like one of those a little bit too late situations, but it is what it is. Let's use this. We want to go and get... Where's reboot? There is no reboot. Got options here. Options here. I think you either want cool headed or you want defrag and I think I'm gonna go for defragment and I want to defrag because I want to have as much ice as possible for the vest this fight so we have eight one two three four five six we have 40 something defense every single turn that stack is huge okay all we need to do is never get rid of our ice and we'll be fine Never get rid of our ice and we'll be fine. Do damage, just never get rid of the ice. Never do anything that does anything other than ice damage. As simple as that. And we should be fine. I'm not losing this fucking daily, okay?
You're not getting stronger still, are you? He's not still getting stronger, is he? Oh god, it was double play because of fucking echo form. That was that this is that was fucking scary. Holy shit, I actually panicked for like a whole second there. Hey, do you get more buffs? He does not get more buffs, okay. We just gave him 13 buffs. We're fucking crazy guys, holy shit. Weaken his ass. Let's do this. Reboot. Echo form. Hit sinks. Four header. Compile driver. Oh, use this, use this. Compile driver. Okay, fuck this guy. Holy crap, that was scary. I feel like I almost threw a run unnecessarily, but I need to beat NL. 1419, baby! I think that beats NL. I'm pretty sure that beats NL. I'm pretty sure that beats NL. <laughs> That's all I care about. <laughs> I'm a very simple man, okay? With very simple desires. Boom! Shakalaka. That's how you do it, baby. Where the fuck is Isaac, baby? Let's go look for him. Let's go find Isaac, baby. Ricky's soul, man. Ricky's soul. I think it was 1,200. He got 1,200 something. He should be like here. Isaac, baby. Yeah, 1,244. 95th. I got 1,419, 23rd. Oh, feels good. Feels good to beat and out. Oh, live my life for this moment. Anyway, that was great. That was a great day. It was insanely hard. Um, in a way that it was hard to perfect because I kept fucking up. I messed up and I lost every perfect myself. But I mean, let's be a little bit honest. The Hexa Ghost hitting for 60 damage. 60 in one attack is kind of stupid okay i just want to point that out to everyone watching that i do not think the hex ghost should ever hit for 60 damage for one attack also i completely should have gone like in the second fight for the perfect against the bronze man the difference between perfecting and not perfect for us was that i played the ball lightning instead of the cool headed that's it that one play playing ball lightning instead of playing cool headed was all that was our difference from perfecting the bronze ornamentum to not perfect in the bronze one. one card and that's what's so great about say as the game you make one choice one card choice and it's a differentiation between first place and last place not literally because that would be a big obvious exaggeration but it's the difference between a perfect and a non-perfect one single card choice i'm just very happy we placed 23rd 1419 points it's a good point uh daily very long one but uh collector's bonus does take a little bit longer for now though thank you very much for watching it's very uh exciting to know that because so many people that supporting the the slayer spy daily is actually quite quite a lot um if you haven't be sure to check out the slayer spy uh, daily which respect it should be coming out on the 7th of august uh which is tomorrow actually so check that out um or that will be today because you guys will see this today it will come out today at some point so check that out um i did quite a bit of effort on it it's my retrospective my approach and my deliberation about July and what we did wrong what we did right and understanding of say Spy that it's actually starting to pay dividends as you've seen in my last couple of days I placed extremely high every single time so for now thank you for watching I'll see you next time with more Slay the Spire awesomeness